So Democrats are sharpening their attacks on the centrist group's no labels as it weighs running a third party presidential candidate. Former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi saying, quote, no labels is perilous to our democracy. I hesitate to say no labels because they do have labels. They've called for no taxes for the rich, no child tax credit for children, end quote there from her. Now, this is Axios reports that White House officials are closely watching no labels potential bid, but are trying not to an antagonize the group's founder, Nancy Jacobson. They're hoping the former Democratic operative will eventually look at the polling and pull the plug on a campaign. So let's bring in News Nation political contributor Sean Spicer. He was the White House press secretary for President Trump. Okay, so Sean, this Axios report says the White House is avoiding any public attacks on no labels, of course, not wanting to give that group any oxygen to run a bipartisan bid. Democrats are noticeably nervous about this. Uh, what would a no labels bid do to President Biden's chances at reelection? So, Marky, you're asking a, a great question. Let me kind of break it down for you real quick. I've said this before on News Nation, and I'll say it again. If you can tell me how the third party candidate does in the 2024 election, I'll tell you who wins. President Trump benefited significantly from a Green Party that did very well in 2016. They didn't do well in 2020, hence that difference matters. It's not that they're going to win, it's that they're going to make the difference in the key battleground states. So let's fast yeah. forward to the question you're asking. You look at the three major party issues that we're dealing with this cycle, Robert F. Kennedy, uh, Cornell West, and then the no labels uh, outfit. Let's start at the bottom. Cornell West said he's not going to seek the Green Party label. That means he doesn't have a, a, a line to run on. Robert Kennedy, same deal. So when people ask about those two candidates, remember, ballot access is the key. You can poll 50% in a poll. If you can't get on the ballot, nobody can vote for you. And I doubt either one of those candidates are actually going to end up on many, if any, ballots. Therefore, a poll that asks about them is meaningless. Fast forward to the question you're asking. The difference here is that no labels actually is going to have ballot access, meaning whomever they put up will be on the ballot. The conventional wisdom has been that it's going to be a Democrat, somebody like a Joe Manchin. And that's why I think they're concerned. The one X factor in this, Marky, is that there's a lot of chatter now that instead of at the top of the ticket, it would be a Republican, I mean, a Democrat and then a Republican as vice president. The chatter now is that they might put a Republican like a Larry Hogan or a John Huntsman at the top of the ticket and a Democrat at the bottom. If that happens, the dynamic changes from hurting Biden to suddenly hurting Trump. Yeah, I was, I was going to ask, you know, because you brought up RFK Jr. Are, are Democrats making too much out of no labels when you have this new poll finding Robert F. Kennedy Jr.'s third party bid appears to grab more voters from former President Trump than it does from President Biden? Right. So, number one, Democrats know and Republicans know, too, that RFK would pull more from Trump. The issue is, Right now, Robert F. Kennedy isn't on a single ballot. And if you're not on a ballot in one of the eight swing states, it really doesn't matter. Yeah. So again, I'll go back to you can poll as high as 50 percent, 60 percent. If no one can actually vote for you, then it's sort of a moot point. The difference and the reason that Democrats care about no labels is that they have been actively seeking ballot access for the past two years. They will be on ballots. People will be able to vote for their candidate. And Democrats in the Biden campaign are well aware of that. Yeah. You know, I also, Sean, I find it really interesting that the CEO, the founder of No Labels, Nancy Jacobson, is a former Democratic political operative who many Biden officials and insiders know well. Her husband is a former Clinton pollster. I would think that would all add up to, you know, want, not wanting a Trump resurrection here if that's what Democrats are afraid of. What, what am I missing here, Sean? Well, again, two things. One, you're, you're not missing anything. That's why the, the White House and the Biden campaign are appropriately concerned about Nancy Jacobson and the effort that she's leading. Because as I said, unlike the other efforts, she actually will have ballot access and they know it and they don't want to anger her. But at the end of the day, who they put at the top of that ticket matters. If it's a Joe Manchin, that hurts Joe Biden. If it's a Larry Hogan, the former governor of Maryland, the Republican, that hurts Trump. So how, the, how this gets nuanced is going to make a big, big difference. And as I said, this all comes down to who actually people can vote for. The Democrats are paying appropriate attention. I think if you actually go back and look at one of the biggest mistakes of 2020 from the Trump campaign, 
They took their eye off the third party candidate. Like I said, I always use Michigan as the example, Marky. In 2016, Trump won Michigan by 10,703 votes, 0.2% of, of, of a percentage. The Green Party candidate, Jill Stein, got 50,000 votes. In 2020, Trump lost Michigan, and the Green Party candidate only got 1,000 votes. It, how that third party candidate on the left, especially the Green Party candidate, does tremendously affects the outcome in states like Michigan, Wisconsin, Arizona, Georgia, all of those key swing states that make a huge difference in electoral college. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.